Good boy. Hi. Happy Monday. Hope you all are well. As you can see, we are having a wonderful day here today in uh, Colorado. Weather's perfect. The air is good. The sun's beating down on my baseball cap. <laughs> ah, there we go. Much better. All right. So yeah, I felt like hanging out with you guys today. Grilling. I got a couple, uh, you know, not so big burger patties from, uh, oh shit, what was it? Omaha. Omaha Steak Company, so. Hopefully they taste yummy. Hopefully they come out good. Put that there. I can turn that down. Clean this off. Gotta keep an eye out on Lucy. Because uh, she is just a little bit through um, surgery. So, yeah. But, yeah, I figured we could come hang out and chill. Uh, let's see. Right now, I am almost dropped it on the ground. Right now, I'm drinking Red Havoc Imperial Red Ale. Does it really need to open that all the way? <laughs> Freaking Bailey. And this is from Bootstrap Brewing Company. It just says Colorado. I don't know where they are located. All right, Bailey. Stop. Oh, oh, God. There you go. You got it all the way open. Magic. <laughs> mm -mm. Are you being a weirdo? She's like, yes, I'm always a weirdo. Yeah, I'm going to grab another beer. So yeah. <sighs> the neighbor's going to look at me and go, what the fuck? I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing. Nothing's going on. This bad boy, right? Oh, that was easy. Let's sit for a little while. And this grill is pretty much shot. Should have made a salad to go with this. I just have a huge bag of salad. Unfortunately. Yeah, let's see if I have any carrots. Yes. So we eat this bad boy up. All right. Oh, geez, you're already, you're already, what are you burning down there? Burger 
But these patties are kind of kind of crappy. And go and uh, put this away. Set that down on low. Yeah, so far my day has been pretty uneventful. I uh, transferred Karen to her two bottles and I'm carving her as we speak. And since she is already known as very unstable, I decided to uh, leave a huge amount of headroom. And I think I got nine bottles. Well, not nine full bottles. See, the bottles are 25 ounces, so I probably got 180 ounces out of her. And it should be like two, 236 ounces or something, so I ended up being a little short of where I was hoping with her, but that's okay. Uh, picked up some uh, uh, Star Sand, which is a uh, brewer's sanitizer. Good, good stuff. So, yeah, definitely will help me, uh, help me clean easier, and I really needed it for, uh, ah, this is a good little shot. <laughs> definitely help me, um, clean the fermenter a lot easier. I just, yeah, put probably, I don't know, half a half an ounce in it or something like that. I'm not sure. Shit's expensive. I've got like a little bitty bottle of Star Sam for like 20 bucks. Uh, picked it up Saturday when I was doing the uh, St. Patrick's Day celebrations up at uh, a Dry Dock. That was a hell of a lot of fun. I was hoping a little bit more of you guys would come out and hang out with me for that, but that's okay. Video lives on on YouTube, so cheers to that. Mm. What, uh, what else? What else? Um, oh, even though work is closed, I have to go in tomorrow. And nationally, it is now implemented. No more than 50 people in one building or something like that. So, or one space. <clears throat> so, I'm starting to do a head count in my head with the library and I was like ah shit I think we're like 30 strong max so I'm like damn but you know, I plan on going in tomorrow and if it's like this is, this is stupid it sounds like we're going to be doing a lot of grueling disgusting work to get everything sanitized and clean it's like yeah this isn't why I went to library school but whatever got turned down for a library position at a different library system i haven't had an interview with them in over two years so i just i don't i don't understand i don't understand what 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 i you know my knowledge and everything why they're doing this kind of have a hunch why but whatever i think it's bs absolute bs but uh yeah, this one's not really hopping up. This one, I like it low, but not that low. There we go. I'm a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Alrighty. How are these bad boys doing? Cooking very, very slow. Maybe a wee bit too slow. Uh, there we go. Ah, turn up the heat a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mmm. But, I don't know. Part of me was hoping that they... I just, I don't know. I was hoping I wouldn't have to go to work, but I was hoping to get paid, and I knew that was never going to happen. Not with where I work, unfortunately. But, it is what it is. high now but yeah so I'm growing up some burgers for uh for lunch 
And I'm uh, guess I'm getting together with my buddy this tonight for our Monday get-togethers. I thought he was out of town. And I was, I was just about to text him uh, when I was finishing up, when I finished up, you know, transferring my beer to, to carbonating, to carbonate it, and to clean up the fermenter and everything else I needed to clean. And he texted me first and said, pick you up at 6.15. I'm like, sounds good. And I was like, I'm really sorry I didn't make it home. That stinks. But... I think he made the right decision. I think it was a tough decision for him to not go home to California to visit his, his parents who are in their 90s. But I absolutely agree with him on his decision to not go because it's like, yeah, I think people just need to kind of stay away from, you know, I hate to say stay away from your parents because they're more susceptible or something like that of catching it. Even he is. I mean, I think his parents are like 93 and I think he's 61 or something like that. So, but I think he made the right decision even though I know it was really hard for him to do. He'll be able to get out to his parents this summer. Mm. But uh, for all you Disney fans, I'm sorry, your, your parks are probably going to be closed till May at this point. So... And Bush Gardens is probably going to be closed until May as well. Because it looks like the CDC implemented no more than 50 people in one place for the next two months. Uh, so, the library might be closed for a long, long time now. I mean, there's no way that they can be like... So they can't have somebody at the door clicking because we're a public place. They can't sit there and click and say, oh, you're the 51st, per 51st person you're going to have to wait to come in. Uh, we'll see how they handle it. Which I tried to defrost some really good hamburger patties in the refrigerator or in the in the sink. I should have just let them do air because they're they're good they're good burger patties, but uh, they got a little waterlogged, <laughs> so to speak. <clears throat> so they are only good for pasta sauce. And let me tell you, those patties are jalapeno cheddar. And putting those in spaghetti sauce, just regular spaghetti sauce. It's like spicy meatballs. Mm. But yeah, now I'm drinking uh, Cherry Blonde, which is the spring beer from Dry Dock. Like, this is Best Buy June 26th. Well, that sucks. I bet if I hold on to a can, stuff the can in the back of my fridge until I don't know August it would probably still be okay well let's see if I can find it Crap ain't working. Ah, I don't know how, and I don't want to run to the store, but I'm gonna have to. 
Alright Lucy, what you doing? That one's, that one's dead. This one's probably dead too. Yep. I'm gonna have to go to the store. Um, yeah, even though <laughs> we've been told to social distance, um, I, I kind of, I mean, <clears throat> the brewery I went to yesterday, Launchpad, they did move the tables a little further from one another, so that you do get about six feet between, you know, backs of people, but you know, when someone comes, gets off the stool, they're still close, but I mean, that was still really smart of them to do, and apparently while I was there, the owner, Dave, was talking to a coworker, and a coworker's like, Blah 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 brewery just laid everybody off. And you know, I kind of eavesdropped in. I said, wait, which brewery just laid everybody off? And I'm like, blah blah. Um, I don't I don't think it was in Colorado. I think it was someone they collaborated with elsewhere. And he's like, Yeah, in that state that yeah, I mean they basically made it the breweries had to shut down. So that sucks. And as far as I know. 222, which is where I'm going to tonight, is open. Oh, God, these burgers are coming along nicely. That ass. Did you hear that? Engine? Think about we're trying to fall asleep. Even though they're being respectful and not revving, it still resonates through my room. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, right now I'm just making some lunch. Got a, basically it's burger special sauce. It's Big Mac sauce. Yeah. You can kind of smell relish in it. Best Buy? Oh, okay, I'll finish this. But, uh... But, yeah, so this should be good. Special sauce like the one in the Big Mac. Try ours. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same damn thing. It, it's an easy recipe. I'm gonna say it's Mustard ketchup relish, or might even be Thousand Island in it. Oh, come on, guys. Don't get all mad because I'm licking this. This ketchup. Apply mustard to help with color and a little flavor and relish. The mustard ketchup relish. It's okay. I've had better sauces, I've had worse sauces. So. Oh jeez, are you flaming up on me? Flame off. Hey, go flame yourself. Mmm. <laughs> but. So yeah, I work tomorrow until. I work until 6. Oliver! Ollie! Hi, buddy! I don't know if you can see the kitty. Hi, buddy! I don't know if you, see, you guys see him out there. Oliver! There he goes. He's walking. He's running. Ollie! Hey, buddy! That's the uh, neighbor's slightly uh, abandoned cat. He's very... Um, 
He's, he's an obvious outdoor cat at this point. Like, they have a hard time getting him in the house for, um, just in for when it's cold or stormy. He just wants to be outside all the time. It's a couple of years, I guess it's, it's been, again, there's been about three years now. I brought him on my house for one night. Yeah, because it was Mojo Skeet and Skull at the time. Bailey wasn't even a pipe dream. <laughs> Lucy's mom was probably not even alive at the point. But yeah, I brought him to my house for 24 hours. And, you know, I fed him. So he ate, he drank some of the water, he used the litter box. But he just laid by the front door the whole night. And, uh, you know, it got a little aggressive with Mojo a little bit. And Mojo just basically slapped him in front of his place. I was like, Ollie, if you're going to be here, you got to be a good boy. Just lay by the door and just stay there. You know, be a good, be good, good boy. Behave yourself. Oh, you guys see me? Hi, Luz. Hi, Luz. Hi, I don't want to lift you up. Let's say hi to the people. Hi, my name is Lucy. I'm not allowed to have babies anymore because Daddy made sure I got six yesterday. So, I mean, she's wrestling with Bailey, which is pissing me off because you can't wrestle with Bailey. Oh my gosh, I'll come over here and tell some stories from yesterday when I got her home. When I first got her home yesterday, she was drugged up. I mean, she was making noises in the car I've never heard before. I kind of... <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, and like too tired to even meow. And then she came in the house, and you know, came out of her carrier, and Bailey ran right up to her because he was excited to see her, because he was moping around the house when she was uh, away getting fixed. And uh, Bailey ran up to her, and she just hissed and hissed and hissed at him, and he just sat there like, fuck. Oop. And then she hissed at Stella several times, and finally Stella hissed back at her. I'm like, no, Stella, you're not going to hiss at her. She, she's druggy. She's groggy. She just got fixed. She better not get fat like you. Like, if she starts getting chubby, I'm going to call the dumb friends like, back. Uh, can you put her lady parts back in? <laughs> I'll go through some heat cycles. Not to have another fat cat that shits everywhere. I don't think she will. She's too good of a girl. Uh, Stella's always been a little ornery, so... Uh, you know, whatever, whatever. I'll do what I want. Attitude. Oh, yeah, these burgers are... Burgers are coming out great, guys. I can't wait to uh, share a burger with you all. As I step on my raw toe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was nice. It's nice that it was all Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's Monday today. And this is a being streamed slash recorded. I've had the last four days off. <clears throat> it's been nice, but. You know, I didn't sleep well last night. A, I was worried about Lucy popping a, popping a stick and getting her. Hey, Bailey, don't. Be nice. And B, it was just like, you know, I was stressing about the uncertainty of my job. I'm like, I could easily go in tomorrow and I'm like, well, Chad, we're not going to be allowed to have the public in here for the next three months, so we don't need you. I'm like, you're getting rid of me over a programmer. What, what the hell is a programmer going to do? If, if we can't let the public back in here until May or late April, early May, you know, what, what, <clears throat> so I don't know. I wouldn't be, so I'm, I'm bottom of the totem pole, even though I have the, the, the highest education in my department along with our librarian. We're the two, scrap that, our new, our new shelver, fucking shelver. Our shelver has a master's degree in library science. And they hired her as a shelver. I just, I don't get it. My library system's broken. Uh, they made it, might as well just 
face the fact sooner than later that you know they failed the community it's time to surrender the, the libraries over to the county library district and let them do what they want to do with them I wouldn't be surprised if that happens that the county would just probably ax half of their branches and keep the other half including the the main branch but I can see I, I can see at least two getting cut out of me. I think we have six. But, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, life is strange, isn't that? Isn't that a fact? Jet just flew over. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Haven't seen any air traffic come in here at all today, so they must be taking off this direction. Usually, when they take off the dir this direction, they're already so high I can barely hear them, or they don't fly directly over like they do when they're circling the land. But, uh, yeah. I think these burgers are pretty darn close to being done. They are done. And then all the way up. Turn off the gas. Get my head back to the pop. There's one. Small. Yeah, this grill is pretty much shot. Okay. Don't know why I put it in. Maybe put burger on there. These are getting dry. All good. Caddies don't look so bad, do they? they? Look pretty darn good. Bunny burgers. <laughs> Put just a wee bit of this on. Bailey, don't eat the leaf. Oh, now he's gonna take it in the house. He's been in the habit of leaving shit on my bed. It's usually it's cat toys, but I did get a leaf the other day, and I'm like, where the hell did you... Oh, you're outside. Bada boom. Bada bing. Take these inside, and take this inside with me. I've got two crawlers in my fridge. One is an Irish red from Launchpad, the other one is a. Hey, Mello! How you doing, buddy? Cheers! I hope you're doing well, man. I'm doing pretty good and writing out what's going on. I do have to go to work tomorrow, even though we're closed to the public until at least April 1st. What are you talking about? No, it's not Easter yet. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Mm. No, seriously, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm wearing a Van Halen t-shirt and jeans. What do you call it? You call me a bunny? Do I look like a bunny to you? Dude, you might need to go lay down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I go back tomorrow. I Apparently, they're probably going to be pissed at me because they're not going on. <laughs> I thought I saw a bunny. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no bunny here. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I would try to liven things up right now through this stream. <laughs> 
just because everyone's all freaked out. And I'm like, I still did a St. Patrick's Day celebration on uh, Saturday, which was fun. Well, there's VODs up on Twitch of it, and I also kind of put together a little video. Not really a little video. It's an hour and 20 minute video for YouTube that comes out tomorrow. Most of it is actually... I didn't realize I got that much footage of it and put it in there, but I was right by the band that was playing. And before the band played, I was right by, like, traditional Irish dancing, some with, you know, tap shoes, some in just kind of, like, ballet slipper kind of toes. Not toe slippers, but, like, ballet slippers, so. Yeah. That was fun. Yesterday, I got together with the, uh, former Pilot House Brewer because Pilot House is no more. Pilot House went out of business. So I got together excuse me with him yesterday at a which is honestly now my favorite brewery in my city. <clears throat> so he and his, his girlfriend and I we got together and uh, had a beer but he was already fucking hammered. They went down to uh, Garden of the Gods and hiked around there Right, with their dog and <laughs> so funny I came out with like a sample of my uh strawberry cream ale strawberry cream ale I call her Karen because what was a cream ale it was just nice calm fermenting just doing its job perfectly once I added the strawberry puree it just went ape shit like it blew the lid out of my fermenter and I lost probably a good 30 ounces of it by that and I lost probably uh, it was supposed to be 5.4% ABV, and it turned turned out it's only going to be 3.8% ABV. But I'm like, well, yeah, but as a cream ale, I mean, that's perfect for the spring. I mean, I'll take some of the bottles over to my mom's house. I'll just, you know, right now they're in plastic bottles to ferment that way when they, or not ferment, to uh, carbonate. And they can handle the expansion. Once they carb for two weeks, I'll transfer... A decent amount of them over to uh, just glass beer bottles and recap them. I'll take several over to my mom's house and just be like, just shove those in the back of your refrigerator for when I do come over and cut your grass. Because <clears throat> that would be nice to just chug after cutting, cutting her grass. But yeah, you know, I mean, as you can see, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 63 degrees. I cannot complain. I think it's supposed to snow on Wednesday. <laughs> Yay! Oh man, that sucks. Our weather's been weird lately. We hit like 72 about a week ago. Or 70, sorry, I hit right at 70. For about 15 minutes and then it just started like tapering off so i'm like okay 70 in march in colorado i'll take it i mean we're not high high country we're a mile high we're actually i'm 300 feet above denver i'm like 55 30 i think that's my elevation 5530 <clears throat> so but yeah it's kind of nice Apparently it's one o'clock because there go that went my neighbor. He was like eye fucking not really eye fucking but glaring at uh my friend as we pulled out of our parking spot. Or my parking spot. But he flew in the parking lot. And she I th she said she just kinda squinted eyed at him like And he just little stared at her. Dude, no. Calm your shit, man. Luckily, when we got back from the brewery, he was gone again. Hmm. Ooh, mail truck is leaving. Or as Bart Simpson would say, the female mailman. <laughs> or the female man. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's definitely an airplane up there. 
Oh, he's way out there. He'd be circling in. God, he's hauling ass. Looks like an old World War II plane. I can't tell though. It's definitely not a Cessna. I thought it was a Cessna at first, but. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't do that. Oh, don't act like you're innocent, Bailey. I saw you scratching up the wood. Yeah, it is an old World War II plane. I don't, I don't think it's the busiest in the nation anymore, but Centennial Airport by me is one of the most busiest non-commercial airports in the country. It's got to be top five still. Here, one apple? I don't. Just kidding. Want the apple? What's the apple? <laughs> Eat it. Lucy, what's the apple? Bailey got uh, shocked on his nose. <laughs> he's like, got, he was afraid of the apple at first. Now he's like, oh, Lucy wants it? Okay, I want it now too. All right, Lucy, be careful. Don't stretch so hard. But uh, Bailey recently did what Mojo used to do. He, last time he was out here, he got he jumped from up here on the grill, and then he jumped again up here, and he was just walking around up there, and I was like, ah, oh, I don't know if I trust you up there. You're not Mojo. <laughs> Mojo I would trust up there. Bailey, not so much. She's kind of a girl. Hmm. Perfect. Let's save that. And the apple. For later. Oh, Melo, you'll find this interesting. Hold on. I'm expecting a package from Wuhan, China. Apparently on Saturday it passed customs. So I think at this point if it passed customs, I think that's a good sign that it's probably safe, but I'm still I have like Lysol spray and then spray the shit out of it out of the package. Yeah. Yeah. Well that's what happens when I find a deal too good to be true and I buy into it. I'm trying to get a new beer tap because the one I have here stopped cooling. Everything else works. It's still carbs. It still does everything else. It just, it will not cool down anymore. Like, yeah, the cooling mechanism stopped working. I was like, all right, Amazon, how much? Like 125? 180? Fuck. Ooh, hey, this website has it for 55. So I bought it and they sent me sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, and I contacted them. I said, so you guys sent me the wrong item. I would like my money back. And oh, no, 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 no. We picked for you. We sent you right. Uh, what did we send you? Uh, you sent me knockoff sunglasses that looked like this. I sent them a picture. Oh, that was a that was a high special for us. And we accidentally sent it to you. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Oh, would you like us to send your right item to you? And I'm like, yeah, you better send the right item this time. I said, if I don't, if I get another pair of sunglasses or something I did not order, I'll be getting a full refund through my credit card company. So now I gotta wait and wait and wait and wait <laughs> for that shit to come. I mean, they shipped it out on like March 4th and it just now left China on the 14th, I believe. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the US Customs, once it gets across the ocean, they may have to just kind of detain it detain my item for a little while while they I think all they have really have to do is like swab it and check check it for you know uh, COVID-19 I think that's all they would have to do I've already waited three so what's another two <laughs> oh what's another two weeks right Bailey what's another two weeks buddy Hey, can you get down? 
I don't know if you caught that, but I think I caught that. I don't know how low you're getting. No, you didn't. <clears throat> this little fucker is trying to climb the uh, grill. <laughs> But of course, it probably passed through the Chinese customs. Like, oh, 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 this package is okay. Uh, uh, send it to Colorado. Uh, uh, yeah, package is safe. Package is safe. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, I feel I feel sick. Oh no, you're not sick. You walk. <laughs> okay, I keep walking. Probably went out fucking spread and got all fucking crazy. <laughs> Ooh. There's a baby getting some. Oh, God. Hey, no, no, hold on. No, hold on. Jeez, Lucy is like a freaking dog. She grabbed this in her mouth, looked up at me with this in her mouth, and ran in the house. Yeah, they like being outside, but I only let them out on uh, <clears throat> my patio. And as you can see, it's it's basically wooded off. They got a little window they can look out, but other than that, you know, Bailey gets up here now when he can. Hopefully that wasn't too blurry. Uh, she's been doing that. Every time she goes outside, she grabs one of those stupid pine needles and runs in the house. It's like, no. That's not yours. <laughs> well, well, that's a better angle. I don't have to get the grill now. But it's like, no, Lucy, that's not yours. Mm. I think I'm going to do one more beer. Let me go grab that beer real quick. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Sure, we'll go with that. Two hops of a pink bunny. There we go. That's how quick I'll be back. Alright, here we go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. There you go, you can probably see that. There you go, not sponsored. And the newest glass in my collection. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, launch pad. You turned your back a little bit uh, too much on me yesterday. I mean, what? No, I bought it, I bought it, I bought it, yeah. That's a great little glass. Don't think it'll be good with uh, for Guinness, but that's okay. I think Guinness needs more of a... Oh, that works. Ooh. Huh. Look at her climb. Hey. I just got the regular Guinness. Just the Guinness drought. The extra dry drought or whatever. It's just, nah. Not the biggest fan of it. Lucy. What you doing? <laughs> Trying to find a new game to play, but there's just nothing out there that really <clears throat> nothing out there that really tickles my fancy right now. That's why I keep playing Farm Together because you know I'm, I'm creating one. Creating a chaotic farm, and I'm also creating a more stable farm. But the chaotic farm is it's stable in its own way, but I like that game. It's a lot of fun. Here we... Ooh. Hey. I only drink this beer once a year. Mmm. 
What, Stella? Get your ass out here. Get your fat ass over here. Come here, fatty. Come outside. Get your butt out. She's yelling at the other cats like, Hey, what are you doing? Get in the house. Stella, come out. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. She tried to sneak one in again, man. <laughs> I just looked down and I was like, why is Lucy walking backwards? And I looked in her mouth and I'm like, oh, you sneaky sneak. I don't think it would hurt her if she ate it, but I don't know. I mean, she just got her lady parts taken out yesterday, so... She's acting normal now. She was actually acting pretty normal last night when I... I kind of left her at home. She was still doped up, but not, not extremely bad. Man, this is a huge glass. Yeah, I think she, I think she got one. Nope, she didn't. Now this glass doesn't look that big, but it's basically twelve ounces of a beer. I did take a sip. I don't know. You see that line right there? It's the ten ounce line. So, but yeah, I went there and ordered like a beer in this glass. They're supposed to pour it to the 10 ounce line and it went all the way up. Dude, I was sneaky about it. <laughs> Excuse me, because my friends, they're on their own tab, so they tabbed out. And one of the glasses was missing. I was like, wait, where'd your glass go, my buddy? And he's like, dude! Grab the other one for me. He's like, aren't you afraid you're going to get caught? I said, no, because I'm going to turn in my glass. <laughs> I guess that's what. Yeah, this is a this is one of the cooler glasses I have. I don't know why I keep grabbing glasses because it's like I'm out of room. Hey, did you, did you see that? Tell me you saw that behind me. Did you see that spider monkey behind me? Ah, oh, I was hoping to catch it. <laughs> Bailey, don't. He's like, but I don't want up there. I got another beer bottle. Perfect. Oh, and this was the easy one. All I have to do is just rip this off through, through Star Sand. Done. Yeah, this is a perfect bottle to keep. I already have like 18 bottles, but I think a lot of them are gonna I'm gonna chuck. Yeah, you almost got it. You gonna do it again? You went up up? Get up up! No, that's not how you get up up. No, watch your foot! <laughs> I've never seen him do that before. And you can see he's a big boy. I mean he's not fat, he's just a big boy. Well, you want to go outside and play? You want to go out to the grass? I wish your area was fenced off. Uh oh. You're, oh, so you're going to hop up here? Huh? you do it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if my area is fenced off, I wouldn't have like any grass, but still. Hi, Ollie! There you go. Here's the neighbor's cat. Ollie! Hi, buddy! Hi! You gonna go back down to sewers? Alright, okay, bye bud! <laughs> He's a little sewer cat. He loves his sewers. Oh, hi buddy. You're missing your friend Oliver out there. I know, you like him so much. Bailey is not a fan of him. Ollie, you gonna go in the sewer? Mm-hmm. I'm just watching him real quick. Where are you going? Oh, Jesus. Bye, buddy. Be safe down there. Like, I'm so afraid to pet, even pet that cat anymore because it's... Oh, there he goes. Right down the sewer. 
Oh uh, man, I wonder if he's like a nid, not a ninja turtle. He's a ninja cat. Oh uh, man, it's like the new Ninja Turtles. Do you ever hear heard of that cool new series? They're ninja cats. <laughs> and their leader is a possum. <laughs> it's crazy. No, no, I'm not a possum. I mean, their leader is a raccoon. It's crazy, man. None of rats are raccoon. Dude, I got. I need to start writing comic books, don't I? <laughs> Middle aged mutant ninja cats. <laughs> Kitties with a half tail and a clip ear. <laughs> Teenage feline ninjas, I love it. That's good. Okay, Lucy. You just still alone. Oh my god, Bailey. Yeah, he needs a new collar. It's shredded. Oh, Master Shredder got to his collar. Cuts it all up. <laughs> Bad Brewing Company. LPB is what they go by for short. I think this is my second LPB blast. I kind of feel bad for stealing it because it's it's nice and thick. So it was probably like a seven dollar ten seven to ten dollar glass I swiped. I'm sorry, Dave. Dave, I'm sorry. You know, if I ever come clean, they'll be like, so? You know how many of our glasses disappear every week? It's fine. I'm glad you go, we're glad you grabbed one. That's probably how they'll be. And apparently, I think they won, I don't know, Small Business of the Year. I don't know if it's just in our city or in the state or in the metropolitan area. But yeah, they, they were awarded... I think it was in the city of Aurora where I live. I think they won Small Business of the Year, but well deserved. I mean, the bears are phenomenal. They've got a shit ton of barrel aged gears that are great. Hey, would you stop scratching the glass? I tell you, I don't know what I'm doing with these cats. Hey, anyone want a free cat? Oh, uh -huh, it comes with a litter box and some poop. I'm done with them. They're, not, they're lazy. They just lay around all day. And then they fight. <laughs> Man. Well, good. I'm glad the sun partially disappeared behind the uh, chimney. But it's nice. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably, what, 1.15? 1.15, there's still a little bit of light on my patio. So that's perfect. It's nice when it's like, well, it's kind of nice, but at the same time, it's just it's so hot out here. In the summer, I usually have to wait until the summer of the day to come out. Just to be in the shade and cool off a little bit. <clears throat> Brewed in Dublin, my ass. It's brewed in the U.S. What? Brewed in Ireland by Guinness. Come. I don't believe it. I feel like it was brewed in Chicago. Be honest. Pasteurized stout. Yeah. There's your earnest for the day. <laughs> well, if you want to fly now, I guess this is the time, uh, Mellow. Um, United Airlines cut their airfares by 50%. Seems like a good way to probably get sick. 
I should look. Actually, I should look and see if I can schedule out a flight to make, like Tampa in June for cheap. It's like, okay, June, I could probably go out there. My dad will be like, you're crazy. Why are you coming out in June? It's hot. I'm like, no. Why not? So, yeah, I'm going to check United Airfare, see if I can go out to Florida for cheap in June. Like, I don't know. Probably not. I probably have to do it like by early May. And I don't know if flying would be safe by then. June, I feel like they'll get shit under wraps. Um, hi. Can you please keep driving? You're making me scared. Yeah, I know they are. And Southwest hasn't lowered their airfares, but I'm like, come on, this is our favorite airline. Yeah. Uh, my mom, was it last week? Yeah, last week she flew back from Palm Springs visiting her friends last Tuesday, and she's like, my flight was packed. My flight down there was packed. And I said, anything changed from TSA through Denver when it did through Palm Springs? She said, no, it's just normal. I'm like, it's a little weird. She's like, but they have, like, she said they had more, like, hand sanitizer stations at the Palm Springs airport by the time she flew out, like, five days after she got there. I think it will, because it sounds like it will hear. It sounds like it does better in like cooler temperatures than it does in like hot temperatures. I think hot temperatures would just kill it off. Kind of like that. It's like it's a flu. It's a form of the flu. It's just not the uh, wow. Excuse me, that was nasty. It's not uh, like the common flu, and I think that's why people are freaking out because it's a new um, version of the flu. I guess you can say it's a new type of the flu. Lucy, can you get down? You and your shaved belly. Get down. I want to be up there with you, Daddy. It sounds like, from what my dad said, it sounds like Israel is working on a cure and they're getting close. <clears throat> I hope so, too. That's why I'm looking at the weather like, oh, crap, I think tomorrow's supposed to be like like 45 at the high with like a little bit of snow. I'm not sure if it's in the morning or afternoon. Oh, Wednesday is that way. I think Friday we're supposed to get a little bit of snow. And I think that's that's where th th these strains of the flu thrive is in the cold, cooler temperature. That's why it's kind of like, oh my gosh, that Australia is getting hit like they are right now. It's like, I can't imagine what it's going to be like in three months, two or three months from now in Australia. It's going to be horrible down there. I think they're going to get slammed by it. Um, New Zealand's going to get slammed. Southern um, uh, South America is going to get slammed. Like Chile, Argentina, parts of Brazil is probably going to get hit up. I'm not sure what else is down there. The Falcon Islands are probably going to get slammed even though it's like six people live on the island. They may just cut off any tourism <laughs> for a while in the Falcon Islands. It's easy for them to say, yeah, no, no tourism. We're good. You, know, you keep that shit to yourselves. We're living a nice, peaceful, you know, cleanse, clean life down here. Farming, maybe fucking our goats from time to time. But we're clean. <laughs> Welcome to the Falcon Islands. <laughs> Man, this is actually a really good angle. I'm glad I still have a tree. I still have that tree, tree there for now, but I think they're talking about cutting it down. I'm like, they keep cutting down trees, but they don't plant new ones. What the fuck? Cut down a tree, please plant a new one. If they would have planted a new one when they cut down the tree, it was like right there. <clears throat> 
um, like they cut it down right before I moved in there. If they would have planted a tree there, God, that was over eight years ago, nearly eight and a half years. Yeah, eight, eight years, four months, three months. If they would have planted a tree, that tree probably would have been about 10, 12 feet tall now. Maybe even 20, depending on the type of the tree that would have helped with shade. Mm. What you thinking, Lucy? You're not Lucy, you're Stella. Just mind your own business and drink your water. See how I treat Stella? Because she's a fat furious. Ooh, you got food? Outback. Somebody ordered Outback to go. Outback is not good food. Any restaurants that started in Tampa suck. Well, I'm sorry, Hooters. Did I, did I talk a little shit about you, too? Cool hands? Oh, well, you're probably bankrupt at this point. Outback, oh, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Even restaurants that started here, Noodles and Company, Chipotle, I don't even know what else. That's that Southern Colorado, I think there's only two main ones. <laughs> you like that? That's a burn. I hate Outback State House. I hate Hooters. The only thing that's good at Hooters, even the women are horrible anymore. The only thing that's good at the Hooters anymore are their, uh, their fried pickles. Those are still really good. But they're, they're so dang expensive anymore. Did you drop some Outback on my... Oh, damn. No, 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 I ordered it. Is, is it paid for? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that, that's my Outback. Yeah, give me some steak. Give me some lobster tail. Yeah, listen to my fake Australian accent. Oh, yeah, this is authentic Australian food from Tampa, Florida. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, here come the police. Actually, they got a long way to go to Tampa for that burn. <laughs> oh, there we go. Neighbor kid is home. Gosh. What, Outback was really Australian? <laughs> I don't even think Foster's is. Actually, you go to Australia, they look at Foster's like it's PBR. <laughs> Foster's, authentic Australian beer. You go down to Australia, you're like, yeah, we don't drink that shit. That's like your uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon up in the States. Yeah, no, don't drink that unless you're like poor and you don't have any other choice. <laughs> How is that guy gonna share his, his lobster tail with me? Shit, man, that lobster tail is good. Just kidding. Right, Bailey? What are you thinking? You wanna go play some video games? He's like, no, I've been trying to get to your hamburger it's sitting right in front of me. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Corona beer. You go down to uh, Mexico, Corona beer is like like Coors and Miller and Budweiser down there. Modelo is a small step above. But, yeah, we don't get any of the good beers from other countries. I guess the only... Is this? But this Guinness is not the same Guinness you get in... Ireland is from what I've heard like the the Guinness you get in Ireland is like if you're used to that American Guinness you come go to Ireland and you drink a Guinness there you're like oh my fucking god that is so fucking good <laughs> love to go to Ireland sometime and have some authentic Guinness we'll put that back here there we go not sponsored but faking the sponsorship Mm-hmm. Well, it's like here. You know, you, you get your, you probably get New Belgium. You could probably still get Great Divide. You could maybe still get Boulder Beer Company, but I don't think for much longer. 
I'm trying to think what else from Colorado outside of Coors distributes nationally. I want to say maybe Bristol, but I don't think Bristol does. I think it's just New Belgium, uh, Breckenridge Brewery, well, Avery, I think does, Left Hand does. So there's like five or six Colorado beers that get kind of national, if not national, regional. Boss, CJ. What you thinking, Bailey? He's like, I'm just chilling out here. Stella's chilling out here. I don't know where Lucy went. Oh, she's outside too. Okay. All the kitties are chilling, and oh my god, I'm not centered. I'm a pro streamer over here, right? <laughs> oh man. Not sure how long I've been streaming for. Feel like a good hour? <clears throat> at least an hour that's not bad that's a pretty good little stream not too many people here I didn't expect so but whatever <laughs> just kidding I don't care an hour and six minutes damn yeah, I knew it was about an hour well I don't know, I'll probably wrap her up after this beer and I thought I was only going to stream in this bunny suit for a half an hour <laughs> And then you came around, man, and kept the company, so I appreciate that so much, man. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Always good to see you around in the uh, chats and in the streams. But, uh, yeah, I haven't done a DJ set in a while. <laughs> I know, it's like it's like 1.30 in Colorado. Hey, cheers! This is like my third beer today. Yay, 1.30! I gotta cool it off, though. I need to figure out what food truck <laughs> is at the brewery tonight because last Monday the food truck I ate I got food poisoning and I've never been so sick in my life even with like flu like horrible flus and other sicknesses that that is the worst I've ever been sick and uh, I didn't know what I did not know what it was I thought I caught the flu I thought oh god I got I got the, I got the beer virus oh no overnight and then Tuesday I was like I felt like shit Tuesday I slept pretty much all day and then I was supposed to go to Wednesday or work on Wednesday uh, last week and I called out I'm like I think I have the flu it might be food poisoning but I'm going to stay home as a precaution so and then I went to work and you know I was there like Thursday and one of my coworkers. she's like you were never sick look how happy and normal you are now I'm like yeah it was food poisoning Food poisoning is a living hell for about 24 to 48 hours, and after that, back to normal. She's like, oh, I've never gotten food poisoning. I'm like, yeah, that's the second time in like six months for me. First time was from a place called Rubio's Coastal Grill. Fish tacos made me sick. And then the second time was a hamburger. How do you, how do you fuck up a hamburger? It was a hamburger food truck. Oh, yeah, you don't ever want it. That was the worst. I mean, it was like Monday night. I was sitting there. I was watching uh, my buddy, damn it, Dave, stream. And I just kind of was like, oh, at the end of the stream, I was like, man, I don't feel good. And then as soon as I stood up, it was like, oh, and I could, and the only thing I could do was just beeline to the kitchen sink. And it was, it was bad. And at the same time... <laughs> My beer, Karen, was exploding herself. Yeah, damn it, Dave's a good guy. He was on last night for a little bit. Jeff was on last night with Ryan, and <laughs> they were playing EMS. Fucking Ryan, man, he walked out. He walked out in front of a police chase. He was like, oh, I left my keys out there. And Jeff's like, no, 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 no. Bam, Ryan got nailed, and Ryan's just laughing. And, you know. And Jeff was like, Ryan, <laughs> come on. He's like, all right, we don't have to RP it. And then he was like, oh, shit, there's like three cops that stopped. <laughs> that was so fucking good. I'm just sitting there like, okay, well, if uh, Sip Ryan can do shit like that, then I guess I can too. <laughs> I mean, hell, I've been with OCRP since 
I was accepted a week after OCRP was announced, so I basically did this since day one. Started out as a dispatcher, which I never dispatched. I finally was like, I don't want to dispatch, because that's all I could do on my computer was dispatch. I don't want to dispatch. <clears throat> oh my god, it was so fucking hilarious. Like, I watched the clips even this morning. I went back to Ryan's channel and watched the clips, and then I went to Jeff's channel and watched the clip from Jeff's. There's Jeff's perspective was good, man. Ryan's just got nailed and it's just like airborne. It's like a fucking 30 yard field goal with Ryan's body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, is it April 1st? Or May 1st? April 1st? I do it quarterly. So I think April 1st applications open up again. So, if you can get yourself a gaming PC in the next two weeks, go for it. If not, July, then it will be like July ish the next time. Yeah, I definitely apply and, you know, use me as a recommendation. Just, you know, throw Chatio in, in, in your application. Hopefully that helps you get in, but they might be like, Chatio, God, he hasn't been on the server since like the purge. No, I was on a month ago, dicking around by myself because none of my friends ready to play with me. Um, I'm gonna try to set up a ride along with Niall one of these days when he's doing uh, <clears throat> when he's doing LEO. I told him I was dude, I'd love to do a ride along with you. He's like, okay. I was like, well, before you and I both stream, I'll have to meet up at probably uh, Mission Row or, or even Sandy Station. And you're just going to have to basically just kind of, you know, help, help set me up with what I need to be set up in and make sure that my in-game, you know, in-game is working when I, you know, push the talk in-game. Because I have pedals specifically for OCRP. Like, I have a dual pedal system. So my, my uh, left pedal is for in-game OCRP. The right pedal is for, in, for, for Discord. So... When I push, if I'm not muted in Discord, my push to talk in OCRP, it's set as my mute in Discord, so I'm not like echoing. So it's pretty nice. I mean, the pedal was like twenty-seven dollars. It wasn't cheap, but whatever. Now my next my next splurge buy for gaming will be a a, a wheel on pedals. Like I really would like to try to get into American Truck Simulator. I've been ha I've had American Truck Simulator. I bought that like two years ago. <laughs> I've yet to play it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get a wheel soon. And then it's like, now well, shit's not going well at work. I can't really afford it. Even a mediocre wheel. Did, did you watch uh, the stream when Ryan flipped his truck? I think that was on. I want to say that was Saturday. He freaking rolled his truck. Like I missed him rolling his truck because I was. You know, checking something on the internet. He's like, oh, no, no, no. And I tabbed over and he was like, sideways. <laughs> I was like, um, um. <laughs> and then he was like, repair. And it like sent him, of course, to his destination. He's like, well, I guess we're done. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And he got a satisfactory. <laughs> He's like, satisfactory? Okay, yeah, we'll call that a satisfactory. <laughs> uh, leniency in the game. I just like to get some racing games. Like, I won't do eye racing. That's just ridiculously too expensive for me, unfortunately. It's like the base game is twenty bucks, and each track's another like thirty dollars. Or like a track packs are like yeah, thirty, forty bucks, maybe even sixty, seventy-five bucks a piece. I'm like Jesus Christ, eye racing. So if I wanted to ever do the NASCAR circuit, it would probably cost me eleven hundred dollars. But yeah, it'd be fun to like have a wheel for like racing games. I heard a wheel and pedal sucks for Wreckfest. I mean, that's what I, mean, I heard that from Yeti a while ago. I was like, oh, I, 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 I keep trying it. I keep, ah, it's just, a, it's, it's like a delayed, uh, you, you know, you put the input on your wheel and it's like a second delay. It's like, this is trash. <laughs> I'm like, I'll go back to you know, mouse and keyboard or controller. I still feel bad for uh, P 
hitting bugs when he lapped me. This was probably almost two years. Was it two years ago? Maybe a year and a half-ish ago. I was racing. I know, I, I know Jeff was there. Bugs was there. I think Ryan was there. And Bugs lapped me. And I just wanted to give him like a little bump hello. Just a little, little love tap. I hit that corner panel and he just went. Rawr! I was like, shit. Oh my god, I just pitted Bugs by accident. No, 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 no. Like in my stream, I'm yelling, no, 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 shit. And apparently he was pissed off at me. And it's like I told I told other you know, ornering them. I was like, well, if you guys are able to talk to Bugs, tell him I'm sorry I didn't mean to pit him. I was just trying to give him a love tap. He was still pissed at me. It's like butts race against like Jeff and all of them. I think I'm trying to remember. I don't know if Jeff will lap me or not. Or if I was just behind him towards at the I think I don't remember. Somehow he's ahead of me and it was like we're coming up the last turn to the finish. I was just on his bumper, just giving him a shove and kind of some taps. He's like, Oh there's Chad there's Chadio saying hello so he understood what I was doing. I'm not I'm not trying to wreck you, I'm just saying, Hey, what's up? <laughs> But, uh, who's down there? Oh, it's Free Bay. Hi, buddy. Hi. You know you can see me from your... Oh, you're going to jump on him, Lucy? You're going to kick his butt? <laughs> oh. But I think that's going to do it for us today. For now. For now, at least for now. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Mel, thanks for hanging out with me for a while today. It was great. Look at this weather. You can't beat that. Cannot beat that at all. That's not a bad view either, is it? Little loose. Loose, loose. Say hi. Hi, people. She's like, screw you. I want to pop. But I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.